Right. No, it's fine, you're not interrupting me. What can I do for you? Roy, I've got time. Oh, for crying out loud, Roy, what do you want? Sorry, sorry. OK, let's start again. How are you? The facility. What? Yes, I am. They're sending me a kit. Although, I'm starting to think we've watched too many thrillers. Yes. All right, I will, Roy. But listen, Peter doesn't need to know about this, OK? Hey, gotcha. Did you not see my emails? I marked them as spam. Roy, I've got to go, all right? Bye-bye now. Bye. Emergency at the cafe? You needed my advice about uh, the dog. So he called you? Yeah. I did have one once. Called Rocky. Went to live on a farm. Oh, that old chestnut. Sorry? Well, when parents say the dog is going to live on a farm, it means... What do you mean? That's a, a euphemism uh, for if the dog dies. The dog didn't die. Rocky did go and live on a farm in the countryside. We were told we can go and visit whenever we wanted to, which we just never got round to. Uh, listen, I wanted to uh, get something in the diary uh, uh, to, to discuss the nibber snapper sale. Oh, I bet you can't wait to get your hands on those readies. You know what, Stephen? You must dream about it. You ought to be a busker. This man I saw in town this morning, his cup was overflowing. He had a penny whistle. Well, you know, I, I did play lead guitar with a band when I was at college. <laughs> I'd pay to see that for sure. Hey, listen, uh, get back to me with some dates? Yep. My people speak to your people. Every penny I get goes...